Hey, in this hosting or WordPress tutorial, we'll cover shared hosting plans, WordPress setup, hosting or website management, and all the new tools that this provider offers. I'll teach you everything you need to know about using WordPress with Hostinger. So let's get started. Okay, first, there are timestamps in the description or on the screen. Use them to jump to the place you need, since all of you can be in different stages of this whole hosting or WordPress tutorial. For those who already have a hosting or subscription, see you in a few moments. But for complete beginners, we need to get you a WordPress optimized plan, and we need to do it as cheaply as possible. Luckily, hosting providers usually offer ridiculous discounts. And if you click the link in the description or scan the QR code, you'll activate the current biggest one. Once redirected, select the premium plan. It's the cheapest option, yet it has all we need and more. The biggest reason why I choose Hostinger for my WordPress websites is that it provides weekly or daily automatic backups and offers more resources for the same price. All right, I highly recommend going with the yearly or even longer subscription period since this will keep the price as low as possible and give you a 30 day money back guarantee option. I also wanna mention that when canceling Hostinger, you don't need to call anyone or explain your reasoning in some loopy cycle. No, you just fill in a form and that's done. Right before completing your purchase, double check whether the hosting or discount code is still applied. If it isn't for some reason, just type in Cyber News. After you're finished, you should receive an email that you'll need to confirm. Now we can move on to the main hosting or WordPress setup. This initial setup will be slightly different from regular website creation, but the overall process is similar. Oh, and hosting or keeps changing things and upgrading, and we're trying to update our videos as frequently as possible. But if a button is moved or a step is out of order, well, don't blame us. But in all seriousness, fill in your information and select what you wanna build. For this, we're choosing to build a new site with WordPress. Then create the hosting or WordPress administrator user, and I recommend choosing Astra as your main theme unless you want something specific. Then skip the plugin selection. You can add them later on through HPanel or simply through WordPress admin. Next on how to install WordPress, the domain part. And there are quite a few options that you can have. First, every plan except monthly has a free domain credit. So type in the name you wanna see if it's available. Hostinger will show you all name and domain extension combinations. Then select the one you prefer. In most cases, the best choices are names ending with .com or .net since these are what most of us associate with websites. If your audience is in a specific location and you're in there too, you can grab a country specific extension like .uk or .ca. Just know that the domain name needs to be registered with your real information to avoid suspensions or other problems. And some countries might not allow registering a domain if you're not from the country. There are a lot of domain extensions. I can't go into all of them, so I'll leave some useful info below. Before you commit to the domain name, make sure you double check this small price. It shows you how much this domain configuration will cost you when it's time to renew. So just ensure that the price range fits your budget. But if you already used your free credit or got Hostinger for one month, you can just buy a domain from this window or a new feature, a temporary subdomain like this one. You can create experimental or test sites without buying domains, so without spending any cash. So that expensive website limit comes nicely into play here, giving you freedom. If you have a domain name already and you wanna create a subdomain, make sure that you select your domain and type the subdomain name in front of it with a dot following. One last thing in the initial setup is to choose a data center location. What does that do for your site? Basically, the closest the data center is to your intended audience, the faster your website will load for them. These days, this isn't the most important thing since you can easily set up a free content delivery network with Cloudflare or integrate one with more expensive hosting or plans. What this does is basically copy our site through hundreds of servers around the globe, normalizing performance for nearly everyone. Well, maybe not that one guy on that one island in the middle of nowhere. And more importantly, don't overthink it since Hostinger allows you to change your data server for free once a month. On top of that, Hostinger will analyze your traffic and will suggest the best data center based on that. So you don't even need to think. Just wait for users and switch to what Hostinger recommends. After you've chosen the data center, give the setup a second to finish. If you already finished this setup, then learning how to install WordPress and Hostinger is easy. Click here, select WordPress, and basically go through the same simple setup as before, minus the data server selection and overall registration. Oh, and I just wanna mention that Hostinger makes it super easy to transfer a website if you already have one. 
Not only does it give you helpful info on what you need to do, but it also allows you to upload all files in one place. Or a better approach for beginners, give Hostinger your login details and they'll move it in a few days. In my case, it was a few hours, but of course that depends on the size of your website. No matter what approach you choose, you should see this Hostinger dashboard. The next part of this Hostinger tutorial will focus on WordPress specific tools and features that are available to you. First, the WordPress Hostinger dashboard. I appreciate just how much info Hostinger displays in a relatively clutter-free way. You can see your database, PHP, and WordPress version on one screen. You can also install recommended plugins, check out your SSL availability, and enable maintenance mode with one click. Maintenance mode just puts a friendly page saying the site is under construction while you can log in and work on it in the background. A new thing introduced are presets. With upgraded hosting, you can set up certain configurations or turn the current site into a preset and speed up your work. If you ever decide to start developing sites for others or expand your scope, this is a great tool to have, though you don't need it if you only plan to host a few small projects. Another good thing about Hostinger is that you don't need to worry about optimizing your performance. First, Hostinger is fast on its own, being able to load a default WordPress theme in less than a second due to its light speed servers. That's not all. If you scroll down in your website's Hostinger dashboard, you can select the caching level, from normal to aggressive, that minimizes everything. But keep in mind, this can sometimes mess with your site, so test these levels out. Luckily, Hostinger reverses any changes, so you won't permanently break your site. More expensive plans include object caching, but even this basic WordPress speed optimization will do wonders for small projects. On the WordPress side, you automatically get a Lightspeed plugin, and the most important thing you need to know about it is that it allows you to optimize your images for free. Just go to the plugin and then to the image section. Now, just send the first batch of a few files. Once they are confirmed, you can send bigger batches and optimize all your media in a few hours. Look, the main reason why I would say that Hostinger is the best hosting for WordPress beginners is how user-centric it is. I've already mentioned lots of resources and newer tech, but there's also learning options in every corner like the aptly named Learn tab, giving you lots of video tutorials that can help you out. It's not a lot, but it's convenient to access, and paired with other support tools, that's quite a user-friendly design. Want more convenience? How about a fully integrated Google Insight page speed test? I can do it as many times as I want, both for mobile and desktop versions, and Hostinger automatically runs them from time to time, so you can just log in and immediately see how your WordPress projects are doing and whether there's any problems. Next up, Hostinger offers easy website staging, but on the more expensive plans. Do you need website staging? Well, if your site is already live and you want to do some major fixes or test how one thing or the other might work, then yeah, staging is the best option. It works by creating a copy of your website that can be edited while the live version stays reachable for users. Once you've done all you want to change, you can click one button and merge the staging version with the live version, updating it. It's probably the easiest and fastest way to do some fixes when you can't or don't want to lose visitors for even a moment. Moving on. One of the biggest security issues that any WordPress website faces are outdated themes, plugins, or a WordPress version itself. Current WordPress comes with auto updates for plugins and themes that you can set up. Hostinger also allows you to auto update basically every part of WordPress, though this feature is locked under more expensive plans. I tried comparing these two in terms of updates, but both WordPress and Hostinger work fine. Hostinger just allows you to select all of them and not enable them one by one. What's more important, well, at least if you're like me and like to learn what is happening, this page also offers info on each plugin or theme's security. If Hostinger finds any vulnerability, it will not only inform that it's time for a change or upgrade, but also give a snippet of what exactly the issue was. You can then spend five minutes Googling it and instantly be better at WordPress security and hosting. Small steps to a pro. If you ever heard about WordPress misconfigurations or troubleshooting, you've probably heard the first step is to disable plugins or switch themes. It's kind of easy to do. Navigate to our website files with an FTP tool or through hosting. Go to WP content, then plugins, and rename by adding a dash in front. But that takes some time. Instead, we can disable it one by one through the Hostinger dashboard and check whether it was the culprit. If you have tried to disable everything and switch to the default theme, but your site still has problems, then there's one newly added tool you can try out. This tool is sort of invisible when you don't need it, but helps a lot when something hits the fan. 
You can find an AI troubleshooter by clicking WordPress in the left panel. It will do a little AI scan, and if your site works properly, you should see this page. It informs you immediately if anything happens to your website. Another way that Hostinger shows its user friendliness. It tries really hard to keep you in the loop with any security issues. If troubleshooting did not solve your issues, there is AI chat support that can actually rather quickly answer some rudimental questions about your hosting or billing, but can sometimes loop around. There seems to be a daily limit on how many times you can use it, which is a bit weird, but I guess the limit is for a reason. If you're tired of all this AI nonsense and want to talk to a real person, support is readily available. It's just needlessly complex to find, and some users just end up not reaching it. If you want to start a live chat with a support agent, click this box at the bottom. Select any of these topics and just go through selecting until you reach a page that looks like this. Here's the live chat button. Click it and a pop-up will appear. Now you can chat to your heart's content. Of course, judging support quality is difficult. It depends on the problem, time of day, and the agent, his or herself. But for us at Cyber News, any hosting provider that is below $10 should answer you in five to 10 minutes and solve your issues or give an answer in an hour. And Hostinger's agents are always nice and friendly. Their answers can take time, but they usually are straight to the point. Oh, and they even check on your problem from time to time to see if everything's all right. How cute. There's one more tool I wanna cover here, AI Content Creator. This feature is only included in the more expensive plans, so this will be a good showcase of whether you should upgrade. What the tool does is basically create full blog posts automatically. What I love about it is that it's a simple WordPress plugin. I don't need to go anywhere or copy anything. Though the customization options are a bit more limited now, but as with most AI tools, we should expect it to get more refined over time. Now easily creating posts is amazing for your website search engine optimization. The tone of your creation doesn't need to be just one. You can mix witty with professional or just say the hell with it and go with all the tones. Describe what you want and add at least one keyword for better optimization. Now, the results are the best part if you're a beginner because it does your SEO for you. Yep, look at this. It filled the meta description, added an image with an alt title and inserted more related keywords. I didn't have to do anything. So I highly recommend Hostinger's AI content creator if you're running a blog or wanna skip the WordPress SEO step entirely. All right, while I can't cover everything, I think that will be enough for this WordPress tutorial. By now you should know how to install, manage and optimize your website. Remember to take advantage of all the AI tools and don't be afraid to hit support if you have any issues. But it's your time to shine. Go and develop your WordPress website to be the very best. Now I wanna to talk to you a bit about, of course, the regular stuff like and subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, what did this hosting or tutorial lack? Are there any places you would like to see covered more? Maybe we forgot to mention something. Don't be shy and leave your thoughts in the comments. We're trying to make these videos as useful and as simple as possible. So thanks for the feedback. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore. Other videos are on the screen, discount links in the description, and I'll see you all later.